Hey friends, Gator Mom here. I hope you're having an awesome day. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super special review to share with you. This gorgeous bag here is the Carry Kit Amber bag. It is a bag style that they did in collaboration with the Sensible Mama and I am so excited to share it with you guys. So this bag is super special to me. I'm excited to be doing a review and packing video on this gorgeous Carry Kit Amber bag. Um, Amber from The Sensible Mama actually did a collaboration design with Carry Kit directly and they made a really gorgeous backpack. I love the way that it is packed up. I love the style of the bag. I love the look of the bag. Um, the feel of this full grain leather is amazing. Those of you that have Carry Kit bags out there, this is actually my very first one. Um, so it's kind of like my first taste of the brand, but it's really high quality. All of the hardware, the zippers, the feel of the leather, um, the way that it carries is just really top notch for sure. This color is so hard to describe and capture for you guys. And I feel like I'm doing a pretty decent job. I don't have any artificial light around the bag right now. I kind of turned off all my floodlights and all of that um, up high. And this is just all natural lighting coming in from outside. So I feel like it's a pretty decent um, look of the color, but it's like a really pretty rich navy almost. And I love the way that it contrasts with the silver hardware and the zippers. I just think it's designed beautifully. So I wanna get into the bag. I wanna show you all of the pockets, how I have it packed up. It has been carrying really comfy for me this past, I guess it's been about a week or two since I had this bag, but I carried it on a field trip. We've been to basketball games. We've been to basketball practices. I had it out all last weekend. So it's a hot mess, kind of like all of my packing videos nowadays. There's tons of toys, tons of activities. Um, and that's what I have it packed up for today, which has been pretty much the same as I've had it ever since I got it. So I'll go ahead and start with the outside of the bag. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around and actually touch base on the back of the bag here because I love the way that they designed the back of the bag. There's an awesome grab handle. It's really, really sturdy and strong here at the top. And these backpack straps are all um, leather here with a little bit of padding. Super comfortable to carry on your back. The way it's kind of designed and it cuts in right here on the side really hugs the back of your back as you're wearing it. And it makes it feel even lighter weight, in my opinion, um, whenever you wear it. But on the back here, you have two zippers. There's a little zipper here that fits pretty much like my hand, if you will. And I just slip my cell phone in here whenever I don't have it on the body. It's likely big enough to fit a passport um, in here. It goes all the way to about right here on the bag. So that's the first pocket. The second pocket is a little bit longer and it's over here on the side. This is perfect for books or magazines, iPads. I don't think a laptop would fit necessarily right here in this pocket. It's a little bit too small for that, but you would have plenty of room inside if you wanted to do that. But over here on the side, I just have my weekly Simplify Planner. It's an absolute perfect fit in there. I could fit the daily in there if I wanted to, um, but that's all I have in that back pocket. Also back here on the back of the bag, you have these two awesome straps. There's a little bit of canvas here on the back and then leather on the front, and it is designed to slip the handle for your suitcase in here. So if you're traveling, like I do a lot, especially with backpacks, this is perfect to go on top of like your rolling carry-on. You can just slip the handles in through here and you're good to go. I, I love that about this bag. There's so many times I travel that I don't have that option with bags and this is just, it's, it's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead now, flip it back around and get into some of these side pockets. Over here on the side of the bag, you have a signature um, Limea tag, which means love you, mean it always. It is the Sensible Mama's kind of tagline or brand and it's, it's so pretty on this bag. I love how the back of it here is kind of like a silver also. And then you also have a luggage tag. I don't have anything on mine at the moment, but I love how it hangs here. If you don't like it, of course you could take it off. You can add whatever you want over here as far as stroller clips or your other like key fobs or wh however you want to decorate your bags. But I really like this one. I just think it's something special and just adds a little touch there to the side of the bag. These side pockets are really cool the way that they're designed and they fit so much. I hope you can see here in the camera, but it's like a perfect square pocket. You have double zippers here. And in this side pocket, I actually just have a ton of wipes. 
I am running out of all my wipes. I normally don't carry like 15 things of wipes anymore these days. I did when my kids were younger, of course, but I just have two things of like Kleenex. These are almost running out, so I just threw them both in there. I have some wet ones. I have a big thing of tissues and then two hand sanitizers. I just had a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer and then an Honest Company like spray for your hands. So that's kind of my little pocket there. The main reason I had that is because when we went on the field trip, I wanted to make sure I had all of that stuff really easy to grab. So that's what's in that side pocket. Over here in this side pocket, it's exactly the same. And I just have a couple of activity things for the kids. I have this notebook that fits perfectly in here. It's actually my notebook, but my daughter's kind of stolen it the past couple of times. We've gone out to eat and been drawing in it. It's just um, like clear, or not clear, but blank pages and she colors and whatnot in there. So that's just a notebook. And then I have a coloring book from a play pack and then another full play pack in there. And I did have crayons and some other things down in there, but they've made it back inside the main bulk of the bag. So that's what I have in that side pocket. In the front pocket, the mommy pocket of the bag or like small essentials area of the bag is my favorite of this entire bag, like my favorite feature. I love, again, the double zipper pulls. It makes such a difference when you're just getting things in and out of the bag. But inside here, you have so much room to put a full-size wallet if you wanted to. Um, you could put anything kind of down in this bottom part of the pocket. I just have a bunch of papers in here <laughs> that um, I needed with me. And then built into the pocket, you have a spot for all of your credit cards. You have a spot for two pens or lipsticks. These are kind of tight um, loops, so I just have pens in here. But if you have skinnier like chapsticks and things, I'm sure they would probably fit here. And then you have one elastic pocket, which I just have a hand cream, a little um, NYX lip butter, and then I also have a perfectly posh mint chapstick in here. They all fit in here, but again, you could just throw them down the bottom of the bag if you wanted to. If you didn't want to utilize the little slots over here for your credit cards, like I said earlier, you could definitely put a full-size wallet here in the front and then just not use those. Um, totally, of course, up to you, but this is a great, great pocket. I think I'm going to move in just a little bit closer so that you guys can see the interior of this bag when I open it up. The opening to the main bulk of the bag is in this awesome U shape here. And again, I love the two zipper pulls that they put on this bag. It's really easy to open it just depending on what way you're kind of getting into the bag. I love not having to open the whole thing um, if I don't need to. The opening opens up really easy and you could get things out of here with no problem. It actually stays open there on the top also just if you fold it down in there. It doesn't really flop forward. So I like that about it also if you're like sitting it on the floor or the front seat of your car or something like that. I have a bunch of stuff here <laughs> sitting on top. Again, we were just out last night, so this is just stuff that my kids threw in my bag. Kind of messy, but this is just a little Mickey stuffed animal my son was into. And then there's a bunch of nonsense. I normally don't have all this crap in my bags, but we were at like an arcade for dinner and they had this little claw game. You guys know what I'm talking about that has all the junk in it? Yeah, that's what all this is from. <laughs> so that's hanging out on top. And then I have my son's um, normal little PJ Masks Paw Patrols that you guys always see in my bags. These are just what he's been into forever now. And I had those actually tucked down here in this little elastic pocket, which you'll be able to see better in just a minute, but he was playing with them, so they're on the top of the bag now. This was another little like toy they got out of the machine. And then I have this little checkers magnetic game from the Target Dollar Spot that they were playing at dinner last night. Now you can kind of see a little bit better here what's going on. I have a Jujube fuel cell packed in there. There's been so many times in the past that I've carried Jujube fuel cells with me, but lately I just haven't because we haven't needed that much room for snacks and such. But this bag fits the fuel cell really well, and I like the way it kind of adds a shelf for all of that other stuff that I need to put on top. I originally put it in here for the field trip with my daughter. I packed both of our lunches in here, and then I just had like a banana and an apple kind of thrown here on top and it was perfect. So I've left it in there. We've needed it for basketball practice and basketball games. So it's just been in there full of snacks and all of that kind of stuff. Over here um, is just a 17 ounce swell bottle. I believe it's 17 ounces. It's that middle size swell bottle. Um, you could easily fit the big one in here. You guys can see that there's a ton more room right there. You could probably do two swell bottles in here if you wanted to. You could also put it in the little elastic pocket over here in the side if you wanted to make a little bit more room on the inside of the bag, but 
I, you don't have to do that. I just have it kind of flopped in there. Then I'll pull the fuel cell out of here. Again, there's just granola bars and goldfish and snacks and all of that inside here. Then looking down on the inside, I don't have anything else in the bulk here of the bag hanging on the little key um, leash here. It has a snap closure, which is awesome because you can use this for so many other things. If you want to attach a toy to it, if you want to use it for a passy pod holder, if you want to put a coin purse or anything up there, I love that you can just open up the snap and then use it however you want. I just had my sunglasses and then my um, car keys attached up there. Then back here in the zipper pocket, I have all of my little things that I might need. It's kind of like an extension of my mommy pocket. Things that I might need, but I don't need to grab for a lot. Like um, I have just some essentials and like a nail file, hairbrush, all of that kind of thing. And then I also have down in here my pill case, some eye drops, more hair ties. <laughs> never have too many of those I guess if you have a daughter you have long hair yourself so that's everything that's inside that zipper pocket you could fit a ton more in there um, I just had a few small things that I needed then over here in this side pocket is just an elastic pocket you have another one over here on this side hopefully you can see and then you have a two insulated pockets here on the front. They're a little bit thicker of like a padding. I believe they're insulated. They feel insulated to me. Um, they're in the front of the bag. So I don't have anything in this pocket tucked over here in this pocket. I just have a puzzle and another little handheld tic-tac-toe game that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And then the pockets here in the front of the bag, I just have my welly tin, which is a little first aid tin that has everything that we would need from travel scissors to nail clippers to band-aids, anti-itch cream, all of that stuff. And then next to it, I actually just have some disposable baggies. I always take these when I'm traveling like field trips and places like that because you never know when you're going to need them. And then over here in this pocket next to it, I just have our little crayon case, another little target find. Um, and in here, I just have all of our crayons and it fits perfectly inside this little pouch. So my daughter was using that in that notebook and that's what's in there. So that is everything I have packed up in this carry kit amber bag. I hope you guys can get a really good look as to all the organization in this bag. You can really organize it so many different ways. Um, and what I like about it is you can pack it full. It makes an awesome travel bag, but if you don't want to pack it to the max, you don't have to, it will hold its structure by itself and it'll still be that really, really soft and like squishy, comfy leather. Um, that we all love. So a big thank you to Amber at The Sensible Mama. I'm so excited to collaborate and kind of do this review with you. Um, and I definitely think you guys should head over to her website and check out this bag um, before she sells out because I'm pretty sure she's close now. So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'd love to, as always, chat with you about this bag or anything else. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.